What's up guys and welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's The Glitched Attraction. Now in the last video, we hopped into the Five Nights at Freddy's 6 back alley with Scrap Baby, Molten Freddy, and a bunch of other terrifying animatronics. Now we completed that level and we just hopped into a bunker and I think this is going to be the finale for the game. Now the reason I think this is because we haven't seen this thing in any of the teasers or anything like that and we haven't seen Vanny or Burn Trap in the entire game. Like they've shown up a little bit, but then they kind of disappear immediately. So I think we're gonna be in this bunker with those two and either getting hunted by them or having to survive a night with them. Now, this is going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys haven't enjoyed this series, you know what to do. Leave a like on the video down below. Show this video a ton of support. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right now. We've been gaining a few thousand subscribers every day. So thank you guys so much for the support. But for right now, let's go ahead and press play and hop back into the game. Man, dude, this game has been a blast. This is one of those fan games that, like, you remember for many years, you know? Like, it's difficult, like the joy of creation, but you'll always, for, you'll always remember it, you know? All right, here we go. Let's do this. The bunker. Oh boy, I, I'm, I'm hoping we see Vanny down here. I mean, I don't know where else she could show up, right? I don't know about Burn Trap, but Vanny, yeah, she's gonna be down here. Okay, so this is beeping, let's see. All right, so let's go ahead and press the X, I guess. Get rid of that. So human error or human detected. What the heck is this? All right, we're gonna have to figure this out. Project name, agent, group agent, final, what? This is an endo, all right. Sound receiver, detects, okay, space compiler, Data communicator. See, so these are the different parts of the endo. Head rotator. Then we've got arm rotator, battery protector, battery wires, body rotator. So, like, the different parts of the endo. Yeah, weight support, lower arm support. We've been seeing these throughout the uh, location, too, like, in the intersection and stuff like that. Interesting. Okay. Station. Ooh. Tubes. Oh, this is the this is the save thing from um, security. What? Human motion. Okay, calm down. I'm trying to read here. Um, this is the save station from Security Breach, and where you put, um, Funtime- or not Funtime Freddy, uh, Glamrock Freddy. Tubes, yeah, so this will send the processed remnant to the station interior for consumption by the skin. Ew, power receiver. Inside it is the wiring system required to provide power to all components of the station using the energy of the building. The tank, it prefers- it pr preserves liquid remnant until it's processing and use. Window, it is made to be able to search for faults in the integrity of the station with the door closed. A door it is designed to be locked while the station is working to prevent leaks of remnant. Power just will cause the door to unlock automatically. Oh, disc. Whoa, what's this? Functioning. It distorts the listener's reality by emitting sound waves. Oh, this is. I've seen this from the book. Is, is this the thing that um, that uh, the, the animatronics they look like it like changes how they look for certain people, but then to other people they look normal or something like that. Uh, waves that continually change frequency, creating a fast-moving frequency that only the person's subconscious is capable of detecting. In trying to make sense of the waves, the brain makes the listener see something that would be completely different, yeah, without the waves. Structure, it's about the size of a coin, is made up of about 50 pieces. This design is designed, or this device is designed to be placed on any type of metal surface. While it protected, while it's protected by a thin metal shell, its work is emitted to the outside by a small antenna made fragile enough for its con or continuous movement. A movement that generates the waves mentioned before. Oh, corpse. Oh, forehead contusion. Notable direct impact, probably produced by the ground after a fall. Oh, fire damage. Notable damages from extremely high temperatures in the nose, cheeks, and mouth area. It seems that the time exposed to the fire was longer than the time the person was conscious as alive. Is this this has to be burn trap, right? Metallic components detected metallic components connected to the skull possible neck pro prosthesis skull damage extremely fatal damage to the top of the skull probably caused by a hev heavy object impact Oh What the heck interesting? All right now wait. What was that? That was blueprints. What's rem? I finally got him a body. I had to find his original body to extract his remnant and reactivate it. To create his new body, I used parts of his human body and an endoskeleton from the attraction. It doesn't sound stable, but it works, so I'll use it. Oh, while building his new body, I experimented with remnant in order to better understand his behavior. My conclusion about it is, if the remnant is injected into a body with a soul, the conscience of the person to whom the remnant belonged to will be trapped inside the mind of the soul. And due to something I don't understand yet, the conscience of the injected remnant is transformed into energy that the soul uses to bond more with the body. That is to say, the remnant makes a person live longer, causing a side effect. The conscience of the injected remnant is trapped in the mind until the person dies. The consciousness uh, should not be a problem for William's mind. It has been through a lot, becoming stronger with each day of his life. Yeah, okay, we know what's happening. Bin is empty. Okay. Well, what else can I do here? I think we've done everything. Turn off the computer, maybe? Oh, oh whoa! There she is. All right, let's see. What, what game is she going to put us into, right? Let's see. Ooh. Oh, 
boy. All right, let's do this. Oh, is it gonna be like surrounded by endos or something? Oh no. Oh! Burn trap, what are you doing in there, buddy, huh? This is cool, man. Uh oh, wait a minute, what are you injecting? Don't do that. Oh. He's awake. He looks kind of upset. Oh yeah, oh, he's definitely upset. Oh no. He's like, what are you doing, Fanny? Don't do that. He's pointing at me. What the heck? Did he tell her to stop? Oh, dude, if we have some kind of boss trap or boss trap, <laughs> burn trap boss fight. There you go. Let's combine both of them. Oh. Oh, no. That's so cool looking, dude. <laughs> This is sick. So that's how it ends. We died to burn trap. What the heck, man? What? Wait, no, we're alive. Oh. Well, there you go. Not so bad. We survived. I forgot this was a, um... Escape room. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, I know what this is. Immediately, I know what this is. Oh. What? Wait a minute. Look at the masks. Look at the masks. Those are... That's got to be the brother. Yeah, that's the brother. Oh. Oh, no. Is this what I think is going to happen, dude? Oh, this is sick. Look at them. What? There's another door over here, but like, like Spring Bonnie, Fred Bear in the front. Oh, who's that over there? There's somebody watching. Who is that up there? What? Is that just like a pair of lights or is there actually somebody out there watching? Interesting. Dude, this is so cool. All right. Well, I think, yeah, I think we have to continue. Oh, man. Oh, there's more. <gasps> oh, yep. Oh, my God. This is so cool to see. Like, we all know what's about to happen, right? Come on. We know. Oh, what? Look at the little mask they have on. It looks so cool. I'm surprised. I don't know if they've sold these as merch, but if they haven't, I don't know what they're thinking. Not selling the mask from FNAF 4 as like Halloween merch, you know? Is there anything else in here? What about the eyes? Oh, the eyes are gone now. If those even were eyes. All right, let's continue. What do we got here? Oh, uh, what? Yep, yep. Look what they're doing. Oh, come on. You guys don't got to do that. That's so messed up, man. It really is. Look at that, though. That is such a cool shot, man. This is so cool. So, yeah, they're bringing him in towards Fredbear. And I'm not going to spoil it in case you guys don't know, but I feel like everyone kind of knows. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. That is, look at, that is literally set up for a thumbnail, right? <laughs> that is the perfect thumbnail. <laughs> oh, my God. Gosh, dude, that is crazy. Obviously, there's not, you know, a lot of blood or anything like that, which is good. YouTube will probably like that. But man, this is such a cool thing to see. Like, you know, and obviously not because of the child getting, you know, that happening. But it's a video game, you know. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Look at that, though. That is, I, Whoever set this up is so... that They did such a good job with it. All right, let's continue. That is... Look at this, though. They all look... Man. All right. Let's continue. Let's continue. Is that the bite of 87, dude? I'm, I'm sorry. That was such a bad Markiplier. <laughs> that was such a bad Markiplier. Oh! He does have red stuff in there. Oh, my gosh. Aw. Oh, Look at that. I don't know if I can show that because of YouTube below. If you want to see it, just pause it, you know? But, man. He took a little chomp right out of that little fella. Sorry, little guy. Let's continue. Next door. Oh, music stopped. It's just a little plushy. Oh no. Am I about to get attacked? Wait, 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 wait. What's this poster? Oh, okay. No, I thought that was new. All right. Well, here we go. I guess there isn't another level, or it's about to play another level here, but I'm not sure. What the heck? 
Oh. This is how we die? No, come on. I would have rather burn trap got me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is going Dude, my room right now is pitch black. I, it's like a flashbang on my screen right now. Holy. I can't see. Okay. Wow. Dang, that was a cool, is that the ending? That's the ending. Oh man, I didn't realize it was so short. I would have put this in the last video. <laughs> oh man, I did not realize it was that short, but that was still sick, man. The glyphs to traction. Yeah, so that was a great game. Like it, it definitely, it, it had its problems, right? In terms of bugs and glitches and some things being not really all that explained. But I saw a lot of people in the comments are like, oh, it's not like the excuse was, it's not, it's not well explained because it's an escape room. They're not supposed to explain this to you. I'm like, okay, come on. Some things definitely need a little bit of better of an explanation. But for the most part, this game was fantastic, man. Like, I feel like I should have paid for this game hundred percent. Like, I don't know, man. It was really good. I feel like Scott needs to get them on the, um, the team. Cause I think it was made by two people. I think, like, I know they had help from other people, but I think the main two developers were two guys. Um, but I could be completely wrong about that, but yeah, man, that was sick. I, I think Scott needs to get them on the team, you know, the fan verse team doing something. I don't know. Cause I, I just, I feel like the fact that I just played this for free is just insane. You know, like name one other, I, I say this in like, I said this for juniors too, but like name one other uh, fan base out there that makes games this high quality completely for free. Like, it's insane. There, I can't think of another fan base, but I'm sure people will comment other ones. I don't know. I can't think of one, though. And, yeah, this was really good, man. Now, we do still have other stuff on the menus um, to check out, like, other extras and stuff like that. But, yeah, let's see what else. So, most of the posters and drawings. So, yeah, they definitely took a lot of stuff from, um, you know, Steel Wall and Scott. But I think it, it fitted in perfectly. Like, it, it made sense for sure. And that last ending, man, I wish we would have got something with... That's the one thing. I wish we would have got something with Burn Trap and Vanny. Because, man, they looked so good. And they, they showed up quite a bit throughout the game. Well, at least Vanny did. So I really thought there was going to be a, a level with her. That's why I thought when we got to that bunker, I was like, oh, yeah, there's going to be something down here. Vanny, there's going to be some kind of a Vanny level here. And potentially Burn Trap because we've got that one little, you know, image Easter egg um, when we started the game. But, yeah, unfortunately there wasn't. But still, that ending made up for it, man. That was so sick. That whole, like, oh, the bite section, the the burn trap section. I felt like that could have been in Security Breach. Like, that, that should have been the Security Breach ending. That was sick. All right, so I think we're done with the credits. Thank you for playing. Yeah, man. That was awesome. What a great game. Like I said, that's an experience I'll never forget, for sure. Like, when I think back, like I said, if you think back to, like, the Joy of Creation, you never forget that game. You always remember parts of it, and that this is that same type of game. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, second game, maybe. I hope. Dude, just left the new Fazbear attraction. My friend, take everything, come here. You have to see this location. Oh, so wait, is it another setup? Are they bringing in new victims to like, yeah, I think they are. It's a setup. Okay, so that's the next guy. Oh boy, that poor fella. That poor little fella. <laughs> Sucks to be him. Okay, we got two. Ooh, we got two stars. Okay. Um, now, I want to see. I know we have a lot of extra stuff. Uh, let's go back. Play again? Yeah. So, we have backgrounds. Let's check this out. Oh, so this is this is so cool. I love whenever games do this. Like, you'd probably never really change it. Oh, look. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, is there a way of seeing it without... Um, last plate? No. Is there a way of seeing it without all the stuff on there? Oh, there isn't. I don't think at least. Devs, if you're watching this... Um, I, I feel like it'd be cool to have like a button that you could press that um, makes everything disappear off the screen so you can just see this because this is so cool. I mean, then again, it, it really only be used for like wallpapers, but that is so cool. So you got the basement. So it's going through each of the sections. Even the basement is an area though. Yeah, man. I want to see more of that basement, but yeah. So these are just the different areas we've been to. That's cool. All right. So what else do we got in here? Let's see. We got achievements. So complete nightmares, toys, fun times, cursed, lost media, back alley. Ooh, we have something that we didn't do. Complete the story mode. Uh, made Toy Chica open the locker where you are hiding. Stun enter using a pallet. Now we haven't done boop. Find all Fredbear plushies and press their noses. Oh, only two brain cells. Die. Yeah, I definitely did that one. Die electrocuted by Tesla coils. Oh, look, there's Vanny in the back. Look at her. 
Uh, Lord of Stamina Make entered follow you for 40 seconds. Oh, we could definitely do that one. Well, maybe. Uh, what else we got? Headache. Get all the jump scares. We didn't even get them all. What? Well, I guess, yeah. No. I, I guess not. Yeah, we missed them. Hmm. Lore Keeper. Find all the pieces of the, the story hidden in the attraction. How do we not find that one? Uh, more than science. Find and play the tape. That was cool. Uh, see Vanny in any of the rooms. Okay, so that we got that in the first or the second level. The Burrow. Find Vanny's secret room. And then complete all achievements is the last one. Oh, man. I wonder if you get anything for that. Because if you do, I'll probably go back and do that if you guys want to see it. But I'm not sure. There's an extras menu. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. I love extras menus. Is this the one? I hope you can walk around. Oh, dude, I love these. Oh, my God. I love these menus. All right. What do we got? Dev comments. Uh, one of the best experiences of my life. I'm very happy to have managed to finish the biggest and most ambitious game I have done to date. I'm very, very grateful to the entire community for all the support and amazing videos you guys make. It's something that I cannot describe. Thank you so much. And then we have this. See that? These are the developers I was talking about. Uh, more than an experience. Developing this game has been one of the craziest, most ambitious things I've ever done. In the beginning, this game was just another game, but it's turned into something that I didn't even know we could reach. Getting incredible followers sh who show us their love in every post we make. I wouldn't hesitate to do something like this again. Dude, they're both 18. Is that their age? Yeah, I'm assuming. So 18 and they made a game like this? Like, that is crazy. That is crazy, the amount of talent these guys have. Oh, look. We have one of these things. Oh, my gosh. What? Wait, was that use the switches under the lights to turn them on and off? What? The switches? Oh! What the? Oh, it's cool! You can even change the lighting! What's this do? Oh, dude, you can, like, do different types of lighting on them? What? Oh, my God, that's so cool how they show up. Look at that. This is... Oh, who's that? Oh, <laughs> he's so tiny. <laughs> he's so tiny. I was like, where is he? Oh, Toy Chica. I'm excited to get down here and see these guys. Oh, man. That is just crazy. Look at that. Phantom BB? Why does he have no legs? Oh, uh, I guess because he's only on cameras, right? I think so. I don't think we ever got jump scared by him, so that's one of the jump scares that we missed. We definitely got jump scared by this guy, dude. He kept running in. They, they're still nerfing that guy. Oh my gosh. One time Freddy, which I don't think we got jump scared by. One time Foxy, we definitely got jump scared by. It's another character they nerfed. Uh, we got Ennard. Scrap Baby. Um, whatever that guy, Molten Freddy. <laughs> Uh, Scrap Trap. I think that's it. It's been so long since FNAF 6. Music Man. Vanny. Oh, look. She's got a baseball bat. You would think she'd have the axe. She was using that thing like a baseball bat. Like, I don't know who, who uses an axe that often, but she does. Look at her, though. Really cool. Oh, wait. There's like... Oh, you can turn off... Oh, so you can turn off... I thought that turned off like a different set of lights. But look, you can like have her in the dark. Oh, look at that lighting. That is so cool. Hold on. Turn this off. What the? That's cool. Wait, can you see Burn Trap in the dark? I don't think he has any lights. Oh, his eyes. Oh my gosh. Oh, what? You have a flashlight you can bring out. Oh my goodness. Dude, he looks so cool. I wish we got to see more of him, man. Like a level with him or something. Oh, that is so sick. Dude. Didn't they update? Um, Because they made uh, Christmas at Freddy's or something like that. Didn't they update that and add something? So maybe they can update this game. I doubt they will. I mean, they've already put so much work into this one. But maybe that could be like a DLC, you know? Something to do with Vanny and Burn Trap. But regardless, man. So sick. All right. So I think that is everything, right? How do I back to menu? I don't think we missed anything. I think we got everything from the menu and everywhere else. And I think that is the end of the glitched attraction. Unless there's more for completing all the achievements. You can replay levels. <gasps> oh, dudes, we could get all the achievements. Like the one for running from Ennard, but I don't know. I'm, I'm really surprised, actually, that there's not an achievement for completing the game on normal. I don't know who in their right mind would do that. But, I mean, there's always people out there that like the, you know, like the challenge, which is clearly not me. But, all right, guys, that was the Glitz Attraction. That was such a good game, man. Like I said, a, an unforgettable experience. And, once again, the fact that this was made by two people that are apparently 18 is insane like i know they had help from other people so shout out to everyone that made this game but like it's insane it's insane they, these guys need to be working for steel wool or scott needs to get them on something you know <laughs> like get these guys working on something well then again if he does then we wouldn't be having you know fan games like this releasing so never mind don't get the pirate on something i'm <laughs> no, just kidding but yeah i'm gonna end this video here that was the glitch attraction great experience i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video which will be tomorrow so stay tuned anyways thanks for watching peace out